Hello, everyone. Welcome to Inconvenient Truths. I'm your host, Jennifer Zheng. The U.S. election is no doubt the most watched event in the world right now. Sources from within the CCP system reveal that the CCP believes that Donald Trump will win the election, and the military has accordingly proposed three response measures. The three response measures were proposed by a Chinese military think tank focused on the U.S. election. The think tank is composed of experts from the PLA Joint Staff Department, the National Defense University, and the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. This think tank submitted a report in September this year to the PLA's Central Military Commission at the office of its chairman, Xi Jinping. The report discusses the international geopolitical changes that would occur if Trump wins the 2024 U.S. election. Xi Jinping has ordered this report to be disseminated to the group armies and provincial military districts. From this, we can infer that the CCP leadership essentially believes Trump will win the 2024 U.S. election, and they must prepare for the reality of Trump becoming the U.S. president once again. This is also why recently at the CCP's so-called National Day Celebration Banquet, Xi Jinping talked about the need to prepare for face and fierce challenges. The military think tank's report predicts that if Trump enters the White House, it will certainly trigger significant changes in international geopolitics with the focus initially on the Russia-Ukraine war. The report suggests that Trump and the U.S. Republicans might pressure Ukraine into accepting a peace deal that involves exchanging land for peace to end the Russia-Ukraine war by substantially reducing military, economic, and diplomatic aid. Of course, the U.S. will also demand some concessions from Russia, asking Russia to lower the price it asks for ending the war. After the Russia-Ukraine war concludes, the relationship between Russia and the U.S. will undergo significant changes, with a real possibility of transitioning from adversaries to allies. The report from the Chinese military think tank emphasizes that improving relations with both the United States and Europe was once a fundamental diplomatic pursuit for Putin and Russia. Putin not only strongly hoped that Russia would join the EU, but also once expressed intentions for Russia to join NATO. Before the outbreak of the Russia-Ukraine war, Russia's political and economic relations with Germany were comprehensively strengthened, centered around energy supply and demand, while relations with France also developed smoothly, and Hungary was close to becoming an ally of Russia. The Chinese military think tank's report suggests that the breakdown of Russia's relations with the West is a victory for U.S. and British international diplomacy. From the Obama era to the Biden era, the democratic governments have seized historic opportunities to comprehensively weaken Russia, reducing it to a third-rate country and completely exiting the club of great powers. Through this Russia-Ukraine war, the U.S. has not only successfully placed European countries in a state of quasi-war hostility with Russia, but has also reactivated NATO, bringing what was once on its last legs back to full strength and further expanding its membership. However, if Trump regains control over U.S. 
policy making, the entire international relations land landscape in Europe could undergo a revolutionary change. This is because the Republican Party's view on international situations significantly differs from that of the Democrats. The Republicans have clearly accepted the reality that since the dissolution of the Soviet Union, the focus of international geopolitics has shifted from Europe to the Asia Pacific region, to the Taiwan Strait and the South China Sea. Therefore, the Republicans believe that the U.S. should adopt an appeasement policy towards Russia to win it over rather than alienated. The U.S. should quickly disengage from Europe and the Russia-Ukraine conflict, shifting its main focus and national energy to the Asia-Pacific region. The Chinese military think tank believes that if the Russia-Ukraine war ends according to the American plan, its influence will also extend to the Middle East, Iran and what is known as the axis of resistance will be further weakened. Uh, Israel as an ally of the U.S. will become a stronger presence in the Middle East. This would facilitate the U.S. in shifting its forces from the Middle East to the Asia-Pacific region. The Chinese military think tank's report predicts that if Trump becomes the U.S. president and pushes for an end to the Russia-Ukraine war, relations between the U.S. and Russia could rapidly improve. If this happens, it would pose significant obstacles for the CCP in the Taiwan issue, potentially placing China in a strategic unfavorable position. Therefore, if Trump wins the U.S. election, time will not be a friend to the CCP regarding Taiwan. However, the Chinese military's report believes that even if Trump wins, even if he successfully pushes for ending the Russia-Ukraine war, and even if U.S.-Russia relations improve and gradually develop into a strategic partnership, all these major shifts in international geopolitics will, re will require time and cannot happen overnight. Therefore, the window period set by the CCP, which is from 2025 to 2027, for resolving the Taiwan issue remains correct and effective, but every effort should be made to seize this opportunity. In response to the potential changes in international geopolitics that could result from Trump becoming the U.S. president, this report from the Chinese military think tank offers three suggestions. First, intensify efforts to continue enhancing military and political support for Russia actively facilitate the entry of North Korean special forces into Russia to conduct counterattacks against the Ukraine military in the Kursk region. The aim is to gain greater military advantages for Russia before the inauguration of the new U.S. president, thereby increasing Russia's leverage in ceasefire negotiations. As the more Russia's demands, the harder it will be to reach a ceasefire agreement. The second suggestion, suggestion is to further reinforce military and economic support for the axis of resistance in the Middle East, aiming to maximize the potential of axis to keep U.S. military forces bogged down in the region. The third and most crucial suggestion is to expedite expedite the completion of military, economic, and political preparations for operations against Taiwan, seizing the window for taking Taiwan, 
Otherwise, resolving the Taiwan issue would become extremely disadvantageous. The above information was disclosed by Yuan Hongbin, a professor, a former professor at Peking University, in his latest program. Please note that the report was sub submitted in September. In October, we did observe that North Korea had sent troops to Russia. In this context, I believe this information is highly credible. Everyone knows that former Australian Prime Minister Kevin Rudd, who speaks fluent Chinese, has recently published a book titled On Xi Jinping, How She's Marxist Nationalism is Shaping China and the World. In this book, Rudd sounds the alarm for the international community about the risk of war. Rudd believes that under Xi Jinping's ideological influence, the threat the CCP poses to the global system has peaked during Xi's tenure. At the same time, the risk of war over Taiwan is at its highest during Xi's era. Yuan Hongbin said, combining the report from the Chinese military think tank and the rats warning about a war in the Taiwan Strait, one can once again sense that Xi Jinping's launching a war is an imminent international political crisis. Of course, if the CCP does indeed start a war, it could also become an opportunity for the CCP to bring about its own downfall. And I think many people are waiting for such an opportunity. Do you agree? Well, that's all for today. Please like this video and subscribe for more. Please also visit my website at jenniferzengblog.com jenniferzengblog to sign up for a membership or make a donation. Your support helps me continue sharing the inconvenient truths. Thank you and see you next time.